Why, hello there! As you may know, Pokemon is celebrating its 20th anniversary today. So I thought it'd be fun to share with you all my stories of the Pokemon franchise. But I have no clue if me talking about my last son's boring to you. I'm gonna you probably saw the title before you click this. Still, if you don't care about my story, you can just click out of the video. You got time. Still here? Alrighty then. Let's go. Now, I never had a video game console when I was little. Unless you count the V Smile as a console, but uh, that, that's a very long story. I don't have the time to tell. And my parents, for reasons still unknown to me, wouldn't let me watch the anime. I do remember seeing some episodes, however, before they stopped me and all that. But I didn't watch enough to learn anybody's names or anything like that, so... To childhood me, he kept calling people like Meowth, that talking Pokemon, Jesse and James, the bad guys, and Brock, that guy from Pokemon with his eyes forever closed. Very literal for Brock on the naming, I see. Over the years, I have learned more from the internet about the franchise, most of which is from YouTubers like Peanut Butter Gamer and the Jaywitz. Then around 2014, I decided to try and hop on the bandwagon. And after deciding to go with X and Y due to prettier graphics, yeah, I know, very newbie reason, and researching the differences between the two versions, I chose X. Then, it became time for me to pick my starter. And like the games, I researched my choices. And due to my unexplainable love for fire types, and its line looked the best, in my opinion as well, I picked Fennekin. Guess what? I had a name planned for it too. An epic name. A name that struck terror into the hearts of all who would soon fall at his feet. Defeated and begging for mercy. But I forgot it and named him the first thing that popped into my head. Thus, my Pokemon adventures began. With Darth by my side, few ever could defeat us. We traversed all of Kalos, got all eight badges, struggled with the Elite Four. I didn't know a whole lot about the types then, so Wickstrom and Seabold were a pain. Especially Seabold. Chef Noodle. And long after our victory in Kalos, I decided to try out the other games I missed out on as a kid and have since completed White and Omega Ruby, reached the Pokemon League in Soul Silver, and as of recording this, I'm still playing through Platinum. I guess that's it then. Woo! Thanks for watching! If you know someone, who would like to see this video? Share it with him. Heck, share it with anybody. Or everybody. You can share it with your friends. You can share it with your family. You can share it with that guy you work with. Whom I don't think you really like, but you can share it with him anyway. Or you can just keep it all to yourself like Gollum. I ain't judging. It's your call. Do whatever you want. This is your life. I ain't telling you how to live it. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Something hopefully better than this. Or not. That's up to you to decide. Alright, I'll see you guys later. I also forgot to mention something. For the longest time, I never made Darth forget Ember. And he got to level 100 without ever forgetting it. When I, when I was a noob, I prioritized move usage over power. So, oops.
Don't 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 do that, kids. Bad mistake. <laughs>